And we're live. So, here in a second, if anybody comes in here, then you can tell them what you've done so far. We're building a rod holder. Uh, all this talking is going to be on the video, too. But you can do voiceover on it. Hey, JP. We are building a rod, one of the rod holders like he has. What are you doing today? Well, they're going to be close to the new one. Hmm. What? Similar. A smaller version. <laughs> There's six people. So, hey, Rick. What's going on? Hey, Bud Files. Yeah, spell check can be a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. I said spell check can be a pain in the butt. Read that uh, square right there. <laughs> Bless you, Lord of mercy. That's what I'm talking Rex wants to know where his pole holder's at. Hmm. Want to know where his pole holder's at? Yeah, you gonna come get it? Did you get them today? JP got his spooks today. Yeah. I figured a, a lot of people would get their stuff Friday. Hey, Jeff. What's going on? Well, he's actually thinking about making kits. He's already done the cutting on the two by fours. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how these come out. I need to do a couple more two by fours, but I'm gonna be braced extra because <laughs> there's gonna be a center hole on these three ones. So I'm going to actually put four braces on these because I don't want them just being where they're going to come to the top loop. TWC has some new poles out. He said, you want me to guys to, do you want me to mute you guys while he's sawing or are you going to listen to it? Yeah, we'll take just a second. That'd be okay. I'm sure they've heard it before. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get them poles out of the car, take the reels off of them, and see what you got in the truck. Hmm. Not much. Did you look? Yeah. Jeff said, never heard a saw before. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Well, no, that was Jeff. 
Jefferson. Well, you know, I was just trying not to blow their eardrums out, but I don't guess men care about that kind of thing. It's like listening to a car motor rev. <laughs> Rex, after you watch the video, you'll be able to whip you. Uh, I mean, after you watch this, you'll be able to whip you one up without having to have a kit. He's thinking about it though. Hey, Big Slim. He said, "Don't fix what ain't broke." He's making some rod holders, Big Slim. Like he is. I'm getting a rod holder. Okay, that's probably a little... Probably going to be a little... Over... Well, now we probably could have done with one by then. Mm -hmm. But then two by fours. Are they going to be too much? No, it'll be fine. I just want them to be good and sturdy. I, this wood here, I don't think I used this the last time. Yeah. This is just some one by fours, or one, well, we know it's all three and a half, but from uh, Lowe's. And I'm not sure if this is the same kind of wood I used on my other one because it's light and it's it may want to splinter. I'm not sure. So what we're going to do to equalize that, and we're going to drill holes. What we're going to do is we're going to take in those might be longer than your other ones. Huh? That might be longer. What do you mean? Well, you can run out there and get the one out of the trunk, and we can. Check it out. If you the only thing I was kind of worried about was the height of the in between it because you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the handles. Yeah. Of how far they're going to be up and down in there. Now, if you want to go get a rod or a the other one, we can always shorten the leads. Okay. Jeff said if I was Travis, I'd probably set that saw up off the ground though. Done that plenty of times too, but it's much more comfortable to stand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is, but at the same time, I've got so much stuff and I've got stuff on my tables and I've got another building out there, but then I would have to run power out there to it. So, yeah. So, go get a pole. Either go get the pole or go get the, uh, here you have the keys and get the uh, rod holder. Yeah. Just get the rod holder that way we can measure it. And if I need to cut them down real quick, I can do that pretty quick. <laughs> Everybody said you guys need you you need you guys to get some cat's claws holders. Hey cat claws. No, why would we do that? I'm gonna spend five dollars and make one it'll hold. Hey Earl. Four rocks. Hashtag, what are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> we've about had then uh, the cat claw ones. I don't even know if they stand straight up or not. We've about had no dog tour up last night. How much is a cat claw uh, rod holder anyway? See, this way I can just show everybody how to make their own. And it's actually simple. All you got to have is a few tools. Wait up, Rick Robert. Jefferson, River Rat. I don't know who else is in here. So you can say something I'll see you, though. I know my building's plumb full of crap, though. I hadn't even been out here in a while. I had to clean everything off the floor and then come back and uh, blow it all out.
Jefferson turned into Jeffrey. <laughs> Jefferson's my name ain't Jeffrey. I'm sure he don't care. He's probably been called worse. <clears throat> he done went and brought a rod and the rod holder. So, at least we'll get a good idea of uh, what's going on here. It is a little bit shorter on that one. So, Earl said he's being hashtag. He's being a good boy. So that's that's that works fine. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It'll actually go through there and have a little bit left. So the rod's good. Or the length's good. Or the height's good. I actually made these uh, nine inches, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I made these nine inches. But what I'm going to do to keep from busting this wood is I'm going to drill these. And I've got to pour it up. Luckily, I was actually out here last night. And what I'm going to do with this is the uh, Rick said if he builds that one board would be too short and one too long. No, that's why you got this saw here. You can just stick them right together and cut both of them at the same time. And you know, it's not an exact science because no, it's a rod it's, holder. It's a rod holder, so you don't have to be perfect with it. The fish don't care. I'm just pre drilling these holes. Oh, I should have told you when you was out there. I'm going to put it in uh, I'm not going to worry about putting holes in these. This should hold fine with them uh, three. And two before it should. I just don't want this thinner wood to bust out on the ends here. Right. Which I'll probably have to drill down and then a little bit more. But let me go ahead and grab these screws up here. Here. You need your keys. That was a good throw and it was left handed. <laughs> So is anybody going to get any fishing this weekend in? The famous reef robber, are you going crabbing? I'm also doing a video that I'll probably it's going to have all this talking on it, but we'll probably just voice over it and eventually put it up on the channel. Well, we don't have a whole lot of bait wrecks and the uh, skipjack are not being really cooperative. We have to drive to the island. Yeah, we could go down there to Watts Bar and. We have to take the boat or get on the boat somebody. Uh, hey, Dale Hayslip. We were going to go fish a, a local tournament tomorrow night from 7 to 2, but we were going to go before from like 2 in the afternoon and try to catch bait, and I just don't know. 9.22. Oh, Lord, someone gave him power tools. <laughs> ER on a dial. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna probably make me bleed one way or another. It always bleeds every time we go. That's 
trail didn't go through, so we're going to get them all the way through. Hey, Frank cut the pieces. He got went and got what, one by fours and two by fours from low. Yeah, and these is like four bucks a piece. Before it was, and the they were about four bucks a piece. So I'll make fun, Kelsey. Chad Thomas and Simmons crossbow limb broke today. That sucks. I used to have a bow. No photo to try to cock it. I finally got what? I finally got a uh, one of the things that you crank it, cock it with. Wish I still had that thing. I'd be shooting a hell out of stuff. <laughs> Anytime you get these boxes of screws anymore, I get these star bit heads. Get a little bit in there with them. I usually just get it so I don't have to look at my own. And I'm using the old drill. My old one's in the car. Your, your uh, portals? Yeah. That ain't no big deal. Just as easy. No, if I can find that bit, I just lay down. Right there at the end of your nose. Oh. At the end of my work. Knee is what I said, but no. Ain't that a well? Ain't that a, some crap? That's what happens. You spend half the time looking for your stuff. Everybody does. Why you might forget the number? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, They are fun. I can't believe I lost that bit. 922, we're going late tonight. Yeah, we're going to go late tonight. Yeah. We just figured she just wanted, she said if I didn't do her rod holder now, then she wasn't going to get one. So I did say that. So what we're going to do with that bit. Gotta be here. Did you put it back in the box by any chance? Oh, really? oh, right Dale said Cat Force One got a nice set of T bars for $65. That's for both of them, and all the rod holders fit in them. The rod holders fit in them, and you get rod holders too. It's for the boat, ain't it? Is that for the boat? That's a, that's a pretty good deal, $65. Is that one T bar? It says a set of T bars. Hmm. For $65? You can make that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I the, uh, if I spend money on anything, it's work. probably going to be reels. <laughs> so I've got to save it everywhere else. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit higher anyway. You'd want it higher anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good with it. Maybe I won't show my butt as much. Yeah. Anthony J said, hell yeah, fam. What's up? DIY, DIY rod holders. Let's go. Yeah, um, Anthony, you know the one we, we use fishing? But there he is. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. I just grabbed some wood, some whole pieces of wood on that one and screwed it together. I didn't bother going to buy no wood for that one. But that was a... Uh, it was a throw together last second. Some old crap that I had laying around and I threw it together. <laughs> Dale said they're not fancy, but worth it. Those rod holders, I think, are the T bars. Yeah. 
Nine twenty-two said, "Spent a half hour looking for my glasses. Any guesses where they were?" <laughs> I already know. Yep. No doubt. Right hey, Poverty Hill. Hill. Okay, before I go any further, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my paddle bit. Dale said, "That's all you need out on the bank. It's that's a fact. It's yeah, better than need. sticking your trying to find rocks or whatever or laying them down." Yeah, uh, I'm a. That is a. Uh, I'm a little skeptical of laying your rods down. It's an inch and a half paddle bed. If anybody wants to know, can y'all see it? Just old paddle bit, wood bit. Yep. And then we'll get something to uh... see. And the thing about these, it don't take long. And what what you want to do on these paddle bits is you want to make sure that you. I might be able to use them there actually. I'll use that one on the bottom, and I'm gonna cut me a little piece here. I'll put that out of my way. And then he said, I got my first video up on YouTube today. Catches a few monster blue gills, gillies for catfish baits. That's cool. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to eyeball these. I'm not making it no sense. 922 said, bad thing is I wiped the grease off of them twice while looking for them. <laughs> you know, I've lost my phone like that before. I've even turned the dang flashlight on it. Like on my phone so I can bend over and look back in the car. For the stinking thing and it in my hand. <laughs> Ain't getting old fun. <laughs> Alvin Lewis. Merry, Hi, Alvin. Merry Christmas. Do you do, some yeah, I gun. It it's prime time, so you're a son of a gun. So we uh we're gonna take my Maybe. Woo! What are you taking them out for? I was well, thinking see the the holes in there. I'm gonna grill both holes at the same time. So, but this way at least I've got already got her. Jeff said he has a buddy that'll spend half a day looking for stuff. It's always right where he left it, unless he leaves it on the tailgate and drives off. Yeah. I got two weeks of stuff. Do so. you want me to go get your other drill? No, I do. Okay, I just started now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this one right under there. We're going to drill both these holes at once. Hopefully, anyway. That's the plan. That's the plan. Now, whether I get whacked by a bull or okay, Dale, I'll look at it in a little while. Then. That's going to go away. Don't get back by board. I would like to put that other one over top of that. Lock that right there. And I might still be able to. Let me see if I can get it lined up there. Now, what purpose does that top board serve, sir? That is going to keep it from splintering. Okay. I might be able to do it this way. See what I'm saying? Oh. See, that one just busting all the pieces. We don't want that. So, this is going to have to be just a slow process, I guess, and hopefully it won't bust. Hey, Sampy. We're just going to go for it. What's going on? Do you need? I'm going to put a lot of pressure on that. I don't want it jumping around on me.
Hey, grab it. Yep. Um, Anthony, and nothing's wrong with the old rod holder. He's a, he's actually building this one for me to keep in my car. And see the way it was grabbing it. At least that way it don't. Tear it up when you got something under it when it comes through that last one. That was their main goal right there. Two more times and we'll have this one ready to put together. About it. All we got to do is keep it from busting. What would I ideally? would be is if we had a uh, drill press it would work a lot better but we don't have one got the one board <laughs> We're good though. Keep trying to move on it a little bit. Is them chickens, is them, them babies bothering them chickens? No. Oh, they're just getting up on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had a couple of instances where Travis couldn't, like on the Wednesday night show, Travis couldn't be there on time or he had stuff going on and I would end up down there without a rod holder, without rods. So I just had to talk to you guys, which is okay, but I couldn't start fishing. So we're trying to make sure that I have a set of everything in my car so that I can go ahead and start the show and start fishing and stuff until he gets there or if something comes up and he can't come. Hi, Ashley. Anthony J said, Oh, Travis, love him some Skip Jake Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> He's making me do this. What are you talking about? Never. Chicken nachos sound divine. I might have to go pick us up some later. Okay, we had a little bit of splintering on the bottom of that one, but we're not worried about it. It's a rod holder. Right. What we don't want to do is we don't want to get these mixed up. Our holes will be off. Right. Uh, so we're going to lay that one right there just like that. Now we're going to put the screws back in this one. After I switch my bit back out. And you, do you guys believe that uh, I'm making him do anything? Yeah. I believe me. No, I don't make him ever do anything. Not a lie. Mean. I'm not mean. Ashley said she's going to make chicken nachos nice for nachos. Greg not said, look, there went a finger. Hey, Jeff Bill. 
Anthony said, now we're thinking like a team. We are. Earl's sitting at the mechanic shop. Uh, Earl's sitting at the mechanic shop. He said he can't, just the cat can't hear anything. Oh, I bet it's loud in there. Dale said he's going to be late all the time now, Cindy. <laughs> well, I don't have I don't have no fishing reels yet, so Al Pastor Nachos. <laughs> I hate that. Touching the screen. If you're having to scroll back and chat, you'll make your little the picture box smile. If y'all make these, don't sink these uh, screws way down in there because it ain't good enough to bust that wood on the top. It gets thin, thinner like this. We'll bust it straight out. I mean, if anybody ever even makes these, I just think it would be a good. Uh, we get asked about it quite often, so. Yeah, people ask it all the time. And the thing about it is, if you need rod holder and you have money to go get one of the... And you don't have to go buy wood. Just if you got whatever you got laying not, around. My other one's not the, the wood. Jeff said, Jefferson Einstein said, I'm sure you have some as to what he's doing, Cindy. Uh-huh. You can't say you bit him all you like. <laughs> right? If he has, if he fesses up and is honest, he will tell you that I never demand anything. Ray said, "How much? I need one." <laughs> we'll have to check shipping on them. I don't know how much it costs to ship one. They're not. But it'll you... have to be shipped. I can pre-drill the holes and everything and send you the screws, but it's definitely not coming shipped put together. No. But I'll check on shipping. This wood's not real heavy, and we want to try one of these out with this wood here first. Just to make sure. I don't want you to have a rod set in one of these. And, uh, and it's and it's snapping to and lose your whole rod. I got a question. What? Where are you putting the hole for the uh, rebar? Oh, that's a good question, Chief. I mean, putting the uh, screws in there screws in there we may have to go with two screws on the bottom actually to, i'm glad you said that because uh good question ray said damn it i don't know how to use a screwdriver well dang it man you probably shouldn't be fishing then i know jeff <laughs> i know you're joking we we but we all do it I mean, I could smack him around and make him do stuff, but I'm a lover, not a fighter. She does. She just doesn't say it on camera. <laughs> if I do it now, I'm gonna beat your ass. What's that? I just want to beat his ass. If you look back, she's gonna hit me on camera to bust him up. Bust me up. I, I'll tell you another thing too. If uh, Dale said he was getting ready to ask that same question, if the uh, if you're going to put one of these together and do it permanently, I would actually almost add some glue to right under these joints. Just throw some wood glue in there. I mean, it's not going to hurt none. It's definitely going to help. Him. Ray said he can fish. He just never figured out the screwdriver. Well, dang it, man. I'm trying to figure out if your box would have to be any bigger to send it assembled. Where's my rebar? Hand me my rebar about there. Where the rebar? Right behind you. Oh. Hey. This rebar is too long. 
You think? <laughs> Anthony J said, so where do the rods go? <laughs> We're not sure yet. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, hit the like button, guys. Don't hit it twice if you do hit it the third time. It must have been a little bit reading it. You know, I might have to just start smacking him around when we're on a live just because. See, and they're talking random stuff over. I don't know about <laughs> you. Hey, right. You trying to get me beat up? Beat up? Uh, Jeff said, ha, 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 in the holes, of course. Where the rods go. Rods are always, rods are always go in holes. Hey, the paddle, Dale said, put the anchor hole in the middle between the rod handle holes. Between the what? Rod handle holes. What, here? If I, if I do that, then it'll probably break. If you put a hole down in, in that middle section and put two longer pieces of rebar up to there, you mean? Oh, you're talking about all the way down? All the way up to there, all yeah. All the way up to the middle? I don't make it into your rods, too. True. We're going to try it this way. Uh, Ray said, can you make it so it's compatible with the guard dog? That would be a good combo. Well, you can, you can actually screw you a little... Uh, thing right here and actually on that string you can actually tie it right around here before you put your rod down in there yeah as and long as it's attached it to that there. thing somehow so that's what i would do is i would tie it through that hole Boring fisherman, welcome in. The boring fisherman, I was going to say, look at that drill work. You drill it like nobody else. But anyway, <laughs> that aside, Anthony J said, yes, yeah, smack him up. <laughs> See, he's trying to get me busted up. But boring fisherman, is anything, his page is anything but boring. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Anthony J also said, how about a spot for the feral cat's food dish? There you go. <laughs> Just seem like it was just flying down to the road. Let's go. Did you, ah, see what she done? Did you really? Did you drill your leg? You hit me and distracted me. And Oh, no. my leg over. Well, let's see. It's 922 Crappie, crappie Barbecue's fault. He said, Rod whipping. <laughs> Ray wants to know if you're going to paint it. Well, I mean, I think if she wants to paint it, she needs to paint herself, don't you? <gasps> really? See how she is? She <gasps> said, Really? <gasps> Honestly, though, last time, <laughs> last time you painted something for me. <laughs> Last time you painted something for me, it didn't turn out real well. Yeah, we'll paint it. <laughs> That's pretty sturdy, actually. 
I wouldn't be too worried about that unless you've got a rock reel that's got so well, much drag that's uh I want to put a bunch of those stickers on it and then do the um what you call it to it. <laughs> that I've got that two K clear coat. I actually wish it was down in there further now. I thought I went further than that down in there. Didn't you? Do you have a longer bit? Go. Your string has got to be that long unless you're using 12 foot pole 922. Ours reaches <laughs> reaches all the way to the rod holder. Work. You need a longer string. Race it up. <laughs> So what we want about that far down in the ground? At least. I wrecked them. Anthony J said, go pimp and stain it red and then put pineapple stickers on it. There you go. I thought I was thinking about putting a cover on the front of it, actually. A cover? Like a Ray said, I can't see him messing that up. Oh, Anthony J said, find some paint that glows in the dark. There you go. <gasps> Anthony J, you're yeah. 922 said that went over her head. Your string ain't that long. Oh, <laughs> it did go over my head. <laughs> well, it sucks to have a short string, is all I can say. <laughs> well, my grinder is not got a cut wheel on it, and I'm not changing it. So, we're going to do it the hard way. Do you want me to put your cutting wheel on your grinder? Well, I could, but. It will take me about a second. Well, maybe. Health <laughs> something more than this. Yeah, 922 got me. One more. It's okay. We'll get to it. <laughs> we we'll got time. We got time. There is a uh, lights in the shed. <laughs> For when it gets dark. It's pretty damn slow though. <laughs> I don't like it. No. It's gonna be loud. And it might shoot some sparks too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna shake it. Yeah. Hey Sam. What's up? I'll come on my Jefferson said a grinder is by far the best way to cut rebar, but if you have time. <laughs> what are you doing tonight, Sam? We're making a rod holder. Look, that's my rod holder. Fancy. It's got three holes. If I ain't got if you ain't got your uh what you call it, uh 922 is off to the lake. I don't know where it's at, so I'm not going to look for it. What's your tool? Yeah. We'll just put two screwdrivers in there. Break it. Woohoo! Hey, Ashley. Did you all get together and talk and to arrive at the same time? Oh, Ashley's been in here. You making the chicken nachos without the nachos? See, they've already talked about food in this life, so it's the, it's a legitimate live. Find an LED stripper similar that has like batteries in it and put it up. Put it so it shines up the rods. Mm -hmm. Ray said, so you're getting three more rods and reels. Um. That remains to be seen. I'm planning for it. Well, we're just gonna have to end up getting her some good ones, and you know, we'll play around with, it, mess with them. Listen, uh, I, I can go buy some. We'll just end up getting some, probably that's new, and that way she can use them until they wear out. I got a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't got nothing charged on it either. You ready? Help your watch your eyes. Let's see if we can the call.
Jay said, let's see. Jefferson said, yeah, three holes and it will be glow in the dark soon. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! It's going it's to have all kind of light on it. It's, it's as far. Don't say. Um, Dale said, "Are you going to put a two by four in the middle to more steady it?" I thought about that. What do you think? Do you think we can put another two by four in the middle? I put a hole in the middle. This is the three one. That's why I cut extra pieces for. Actually, I could put one to the side here a little bit. And uh, well, let's see how steady sturdy it is. I mean, does it twist or anything? No, it don't twist nothing. Look. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt to this point, you know what I mean? We can actually put it, we can make it real steady. Ray, that's what the rebar was for. And yeah. Jefferson said to hold it into the ground. Did you see the hole that you drilled? Just yeah. Let me see these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Anthony says he never uses rod holders personally or nets. Um, the thing about it is, Anthony, like for doing lives and stuff and, and for doing night fishing, I mean, like we know people that, and we've done it before ourselves, propped them or laid, it, laid your rod down. But if you're going to have a light shining on it or you're doing lives and you won't be able to, people to be able to see the takedown, then you kind of need something to make your rod stand up. So that's, we didn't use that rod holder until what you built it about four, yeah, four months ago. Problem in rocks and everything. And it's just, sometimes it's just hard. I mean, and, and even with these, um, and you can lock your reels down. Yeah. I mean, it's with a rod holder. And so you're all the time or anything. You don't have I'm to run to check something. Uh, let me see this. You don't have to run. I didn't really think about how far they went far. So, <laughs> but they're pretty close. You don't have and to be on the guy ain't with too bad, so I keep talking over you. I'm sorry. Uh here. 
Well, I mean, I was just checking the. I know, but I was wondering how far the relay is going to go over. Is it going to go over into that other? Uh... Well, I guess it would be close. That's why I was looking at that. We may end up having to do another one. But that handle's got plenty of room down here. This is nine inches from here to here. So if you've got a little rod, you can put it like that. But I would not trust one of these like that. Because if I put one in there like that, I would put it on the clicker. Dale said them new Hellcats would look nice in a new rod holder. <laughs> but uh, Ray said, okay, so how do you use it? That, right like that. You drive your rebar in the ground. You drive your rebar, yeah, into the ground, and then you slide. Slide it right over top of it. And what you do is you put it in one side in the ground, slide the rod holder over, and measure what so I'll you know where to is, hammer the other end in. I'll put that. I'll put that side in like that right there, and say so you'll get it. Put this one in the ground, then you set it down on it, and. Actually, we'll just put it in the ground out there. If I don't get light out of there, you go. Just back all that up some. Yeah. And they can be able to see me right there. Anthony said, said don't want it too heavy. We'll do backseat driver builders. Yeah, that's yeah, that wood is actually light. really lightweight. Really but you don't want it so that it's not going to uh, hold up to a uh, that Travis's rod holder right there held my 38 pound, no problem. Back it on my personal. They, they still should be able to see right here. Yeah. I don't think well, I made that concrete right there. Let me back up a little more. You can buy pretty fancy coffee anymore and what are you doing, bro? throw some uh, good quality creamer on it. Good tasting anyway. And what I do right here is I will see where that's lined up. Chevy, go on. Go, go. Go on. Go, go. Chevy, go on. Go on. Go on. Anthony J said a good woman should be able to get go, your go. rod to stand up. Hmm. But what I do is I'll line it no up worries. in the center of that two before right there. And then I'll just kind of turn this one around. Yep. Set it over there. And it should be dropping the ground a little bit further. I think anyway. I think hey, I'm it down in there good. Good evening. Welcome in. But just for that. And then what you do is you. You want to take it back off that one. Set it right down on it. <laughs> then he said, holy shit, that's a huge dog. <laughs> that's Chevy. He's only about 125. Yep. Well, if I can get in the hole now. Big old American pit. Black American pit. Then just take something, take the top of it, and it'll go right down on there. And there you go. And the more you drive it down in there, the sturdier it is. And I'll be honest with you, we'll touch that sucker right now. Back it on up. Here, pull it the other way. Oh. Well, I guess you could. We'll see if something will break. We'll test first. Bending over a little bit, but I'll tell you what, if a uh, catfish bends that thing like that right there, I don't have a line. I got the rod. If he bends it over that far, he's going to take drag. Plus the ground sucks fairly. Yeah, it's pulling. It's actually moving them suckers in the ground, but it's not coming out of there. No. Can you get them in hard dirt? Travis gets them driven in anywhere we anywhere we fish. Um, I usually take a rock and drive them in there. But like like you said, if they're standing up like that, they're not going to come out of there. No. I could probably break this rod. Just, Dale said he does got a hammer. It's going to pull them rebob, rebar back out of the ground right there. Nah, it's just going to bend them over. But 
But we've never actually had it do that at the lake. No, well, I was holding on to the rod there. Actually, you can drive it on down the name to do that. See that? They said, okay, cool, I need two. <laughs> That was going to Anthony J said, Hell yeah, Travis. That's good stuff right there. There you go. I bet it don't move now. Jeff said, Cedar 5 4 decking might work well for the top and bottom parts too. Light, pretty strong, and weather resistant. I'm going to let me see if I've got a tag on this and I'll tell you what I actually got from loading. Let's see if I can find it. I has got the barcode on it. But this is a. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what it is. It's just uh, cheap wood back there in the back. It's on the left. Ray said, get on that. <laughs> he wants to. <laughs> he said, get on it. <laughs> let me check the... Uh, Ray, let me check the... Uh, what you call it? The now I'm full on it. Okay, we, we drove them down in there a little bit more. There you go. I'm... Yeah, it ain't... Break the rod. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. If it falls on it that much, then it's going to be some kind of record. That's yeah. A big game rod. Big game. Let's see if we can pull drag. Yeah. Let's pull the drag out of that reel. Del Hay Slip said heavy Chevy. It ain't going nowhere. No. I like it. But, I mean, it's simple. It really is. Uh, pop it up. If you uh, you got the rebarb in the ground, that ground's pretty soft, actually. That's why it's moving. Somewhat, anyway. The ground's never soft anywhere we go. Y'all have seen him try to... There you go. Curtis Cunningham said, or if you just kept drags loose on the rods. Well, I had that one tight. Yeah, that one was tight. Yeah. They're <laughs> testing to make sure it wasn't going to pull over. Yeah. And you can do that uh, after you stick them in there and see if you have soft ground or whatever. Aaron said that he don't like his rod close to another rod, not his style. I don't know, man. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's just somebody, some people's preference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think you meant something else uh, entirely. Well, you know. As long as both of them are your rod. Yeah. If it's another man's what rod, you don't want to make those. Though, the next one that I make. Yeah. Is I'm going to take and actually move it out here a little bit. And that way it'll separate these two, separate it from the middle a little bit. And move them out a little bit. That'll give it a little bit more room in between them. Because sometimes some people wants to go down and reel the rod. And sometimes it's hard if they're too close. So, Curtis said, I've wondered when watching your lives about your rod holder if you weigh it down with rocks or just anything. No, no, it's actually just the rebar. Anthony That's said, Now you got to keep a little mini sledgehammer in your trunk, Cindy. <laughs> We've been using <laughs> rocks at the at the lake to put it in the ground with. There you go. <laughs> we'll just stick that, that back there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got that reference, there. Aaron. Hey JP, welcome but, back. You know, Anthony J. Let's make another one. He said, "Okay, fam. See y'all later, Travis. Make one for a giveaway." We thought about that I, for my giveaway the other day. The problem with doing that for a giveaway is going to be shipping. It would definitely have to stay in the United States, and uh, we're going to check the shipping on these. And we, we'll we'll probably make some available. I mean, they're not that hard to make, and I can. Hopefully, I can get them out cheap enough with that shipping and get some sort of long box. And surely everybody... They might have a flat free. rate. Surely, I, what I'll do is pre-assemble them and then take them back apart and put like an A, B, C, and D, or C, and then D right here. Yeah. And they would actually go right back together. Aaron said it probably costs maybe around 20 bucks. Yeah. Maybe. If they're not real we'll heavy. Out, I mean, it ain't, you know, it's a lot. I used to ship big stuff. I, I've shipped a, 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 crap. Actually, I thought about putting some, uh, 
a generator motor can before. You, over here? you could actually, it would be heavier though if you did that. You could actually put a front on it. And I thought about getting some quarter inch uh, plywood and cutting some pineapples out in it. Keto's got a sawmill. There you go. Um, Aaron said do a cedar one. And then Keto also said patent them. Make a meal or two. Yeah. Aaron said I sent my crossbow to New York. It was twenty six dollars. So That's not too bad. No, and that crossbow's big, and it's going to be a lot heavier than that. I could talk to the old man and see if it, see what it would cost to actually put a patent on it. He actually worked for a big plastic company, and they do patents all the time on different edge bending and stuff. Usually, it costs so much to make a patent. It's not worth it because they will change something small and get around that patent. Right. I could, I could actually copy the guard dog or something or another, and you won't get around that. All you got to do is look at the uh, call it something else and change yeah, the shape call or something, something else and change the shape of it. And it's the same thing. There's a million stuff out there. It's just a matter of do they want to actually do it. Can they master Ray said, can you make a sidewalk version where it stands up on its own? I don't know how I'm you'd get that. it sturdy. We 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 thought about it because we wanted to use it on docks before. I, I actually thought of a, a decent way to do that the, the other night, I think. But what you would have to do is you would have to carry like a a concrete deal with you. Because what I was thinking is if you had a a piece of concrete that had a slot in it, you could put that piece of concrete slot right like that. Aaron said burn not going nowhere. Burn skip Jack Cindy rod holder. What? Burn skip Jack Cindy rod holder. Oh burn it. What burn it in it? Then he said asshole. And I'm not sure what he means. <laughs> <laughs> I might have missed something. Hmm. Well, oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, never mind. I went somewhere with the Skip Jake Cindy rod holder and then the next comment, but I don't know. No Jeff said, I'll be on a hundred of those a day for you if you get the demand. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're easy. I mean, oh, uh, Ashley's an asshole. It says, uh, Ray said, okay, oh, okay, I want to see what you come up with. Oh, for the sidewalk? Yeah. The sidewalk thing, it's, there's just not a way to make is it, it as sturdy it, as driving it in. Do you know how they use uh, tow, tow board hangers on uh, roofs? Oh, Ashley's asshole. Tow board hangers on roofs? Tow board hanger on a roof. It's got the, you know, it lifts it. If you had something that came out and hooked it, maybe. And then it ran back to the other end of the sidewalk. But there's a, a lot of times there's not another end of the sidewalk either. Right. But if you had something to hook it and put weight on it, that's about the only way that I would see to do one for a sidewalk. JBT's got this big massive metal thing that he uses on ramps, actually. But it's it's big and heavy though. Yeah, he's got a truck he tows it in back of. Like the, it'd be different, like with the car not having room in the right. trunk. But most people, a lot of people have trucks. Well, if you've got a truck, you can just put it in the uh, post. Tray. Aaron said, "Build an ashtray holder in it." Everybody has said to put the cat stray cat did, feed, feeding dish on it. <laughs> Everybody's gonna have to well, customize. Let's go it. Here and see what I so listen, oh. I was thinking about hey, I how know to make it sturdy. I know exactly what we could do. We could put a a lip back here. I'm not picking that big one up, Set the battery on. We'll build it and put a battery right there. 
you got to have batteries for your light anyway. <laughs> but I was thinking if you took, if you go on each side of the neck and some of that stuff. But no, I was thinking they have to be shorter, but that's what we got here for the story. On either side of it. What if we took a board? Or <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way. If we come aboard, it was about that. We're going to pull it over on the two before and put some cut in about a half inch or whatever and stuck it like that. I got to show, I got to bring the camera. Shop class 101. Jefferson said, Cindy swoops in for the moon. <laughs> Dale Hayson said, like a workhorse bench. Yeah. Yeah. It would take up more room, but it would go in the back of a truck. We the reason we built that one or he built that one like that is he can throw it in the trunk of his car. Yeah, it's easy to go in the trunk of the car. And yeah. All as far as um, Billy says, I have a knee high one that holds five rods similar that I built. Yep, yeah. a pineapple holder. Aaron said <laughs> we gotta have a there pineapple go. holder. <laughs> put a little thing on the side. Hey, we can just put a hook on the side and just. Look it right in there. Put a piece of rebar out the top and just stab that sucker right on top. <laughs> the whole freaking pineapple. Ray's like, I'm liking this. David Smith says, take two boards as long as the rack is wide. Come on the inside of the rack and drill two holes. Put the two boards underneath and use bolts with wing nuts so it will work anywhere. Like this. Is that what you're talking about, um, David? Dale said, I think it's good the way you got it. It is for like a... If you can put the rebarb in the ground, that's the main thing. If you need a bucket for that, Aaron, you're in trouble. <laughs> that's gross. But you could do it like that right there, and you wouldn't have to have that much weight. I would put weight on the back of it anyway. Yeah, with it being like that, if you put it that facing the, the water, it wouldn't flip up and turn over. Oh, no. No. You get a 30 to 50 pound catfish, grab that thing, it's going to flip it. It's going to take it. Yeah, the whole if thing. If it's just got them boards like that on it. Well, you'd need to t try to peg it down something somehow. Usually you're around rocks and stuff at the... Program, yeah. So you could actually do it uh, this way too. You could put you could put it like that. David said, "In center of the boards, like a sawhorse works." Yep. <laughs> Aaron Go down said, there and "Get a couple of rocks and throw right there." Aaron said, "A beaver may steal it." <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Beaver. That's true. It's all that wood. A couple of different ways would work. Now, if you're just on the sidewalk and you want to leave them on clickers, it would work. It would work real good. That yeah, way. you could. You just have to leave it on the yeah. back runners clickers. Yeah, you could set it up right like that. Actually, if you even uh, if you put these under it. He's trying to think of something to weigh it to weigh your boards down with, Jeff. We always have a car better because we have we run our light off of it. But yeah, I've actually took a. He's just talking one, about a weight. A stone before, and uh, if yep. you did it this way, though, your rods, the end of your rods, would come down a little bit above too. On we are lighter, off. Billy. We're gonna late night fish tonight. But anyway, we can come up with 20 different designs, but at the same time. David said, put the boards in the centered up and you will not need any weights. You mean like a sawhorse like that? 
Like that. Yeah, that's how I had it a minute ago. But that would probably keep the keep the rods. You know, oh, if there. it was longer and you and it kept that up, like the rebar keeps it up off the ground. Yeah, it probably would. You could actually put hinges on them right here, right underneath, like right there or something. You could put an extra two or four right there. Dale said if he had holes all the way through like his old one, that's all it needs. It does have uh, holes all the way through. Yeah. Miss Rogers said I'm thinking the same, Cindy, probably carp fish tonight. I really want to go carp fishing. We got JBT's boilies that we bought. We can actually put two. There. Aaron said skip Jack Cindy's hardwood shop with help. <laughs> <laughs> Ray said I use my clicker. It's just a lot more fun if you use this here with the help of Yeah. But if you put two boards right there and put a set of hinges right there, you could actually fold that thing down like that. Right oh, there. he said no, lay the boards down parallel and then set the rod or the rack on top of them in the center. Do you know what he's talking yeah. about? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll do. I'm moving everybody again, so I think he's talking about this just like this. No, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Screwing it like that? What are they doing? I don't know. Yes, Took off running. Hey, Chucky. Yeah, we got some uh you got some small yeah he ones. said that's it but one board on each end so yeah you set it down like that now i put it put the rod holder on top of it yeah lay the boards down and put the rod holder on top of it. Yeah, like, like that. that one on each end you could actually put a uh a wing nut right here and yep. do it that way that way you could throw a couple of rocks on it or whatever you wanted to yeah if, i mean yep. you could it, it, for that's that matter, you idea. could sit. You could sit in your chair and put your foot on it. Well, yeah, you could. If you didn't have nothing else. Well, there's always something laying around. Yeah. You put a battery on it as far as that goes. But uh, if you kept it on a clicker, that would be fine. Yeah. Or just look. We keep ours. We bit. keep ours locked down because we like get take down. Well. It actually it makes them and it drive, so drives the hook in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he said, uh, uh, that's what I was talking about using wing nuts so you can use it either way. So, actually, if you if you got one, all you'd have to do is flip it upside down, drill your hole in there, and get you over. Ray said, Yeah, I see what you're saying, David, in the wing nuts, so you could take it on and off. Yep, so that you could use it with the rebar and uh, use it that way. So you can be versatile in where you fish with it. See, the thing about like with using it on a dock, we've thought about taking a just keeping a couple of screws with it and screwing it down to the dock. Travis always has his uh, cordless drill with us. Aaron said, "See y'all at a birthday cookout." Or Mr. Rogers said, screw to the bottom where you can fold them in like that. Yeah. But then that would cover up your hole for putting the, the rebar. If you got some of the same length about like this, you can put them like that and stick them right in the trunk. Right. Testing the rod on it made me feel a little bit better about not having the metal supports in it. it yeah. It makes it lighter for her. So... This one actually going to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to let you just talk to her and uh, watch me kill myself or something making the second one. <laughs> There's yours. There you go. Thank you. If you're adding the stuff to it, you're just going to have to let me know so we can uh, add it. With it. What? If we add anything to it. Yeah. 
I think I actually did spread these out a little bit on this one. So that's good. Oh, we got some metal points. Oh, we need to do one. JP said, make some cornhole boards with beverage holders. <laughs> now, if uh, if you throw you a couple of sea clamps in. Uh, Ray said, mostly lake sea fishes are mostly sidewalks. Just back up from the, each side of the sidewalk or something. Yeah. Curtis said, don't let anyone, everyone complicated. Ha ha. It's, it's working just fine. <laughs> yeah, but it's good to have everybody's ideas with it. Right. And that way, I mean, like. If it's something, if you have a specialized need, like he he has mostly sidewalks, then the brainstorming can help him maybe, if he wants to build one, he can tweak it to where it works for him. I don't like having to lay my rods down. Yeah, I don't either. I like being able for to For one, you're them. trusting your, your reel, not for your line, not to if be like clicks. rolled on top of each other or something. That sucker clicks over. Man. Or a lot of times when you jerk it, when it gets jerked, suddenly it, I've seen it uh, lock people's reels down. And then there goes your pole into the water. I like a little bit of something that holds on to it. Anyway. It feels good out here tonight. It does feel good, don't you? I'm going to rig up something to hold my rebar to the side of it so it don't sit in the trunk. Oh, like a... A little pack or something, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Not a bad idea. But and that's an extra, too. But, but um, so what I'm going to do is try to figure out whether or not I want to paint it. Probably not. I might spray some glow in the dark stuff on it. Okay. Let's see if I can keep from messing these up earlier. Is it better if I did it that way? So. Hey, Kevin Fishes. Welcome in. We're Oh, David said, that's why I said move the two boards in a little and not cover up the holes. Yeah, that would definitely work. Just uh, what I was talking about it covering the holes up is if you made it on that wing nut where it would fold in. You couldn't really do that if you had the holes in it. Ray said he didn't like to lay his rod down either. You scratch them and then or it goes in the water. People step on your handles. Hey, Michelle Mason. I might get the Dremel and run down the inside of them holes with a sanding wheel. That drill don't like it. No. I'm smelling. Old drill anyway, though. So. Jefferson said, go on the dark camel pattern would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> they have glow in the dark camel. I'm not painting. She's going to have to. That's I don't think she wants me to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> I may get some yellow, uh, 
look at that it took out a chunk i may get some of that yellow uh fluorescent paint <laughs> Um, Michelle Mason wants to know what the routing diameter of the holes is for future reference. That's an inch and a half. Inch and a half. That's an inch and a half paddle bit. And we tried it with the rod. Uh, well, it sounds like you've been walking already. <laughs> but we tried it with this rod and an inch and a half. That's what I did on the other ones, too. So works good. it works good for the mad cats and pretty much all of them this is a big game rod of course you get some pressure on it it kind of you if you ever use one like this make sure you put your foot on it before you try to pull that rod up out and you'll go back to where she caught that 38 pounder i that pulled it cat, i didn't put my foot the on the whole it. rod holder up over the uh rebarb and all the rods went down of course you did get the one that had the fish on it but yeah. I'm down there picking the rods up. I was excited. I and didn't think about it. He told me to put my foot on it, and I just was like zoned in. She didn't do it. I've been doing it from from then. From yeah. But yeah, I know now if if one gets bent way over to put my foot on the. I'm wondering. We should we should have those are those holes are far enough apart for you to be able to reel, aren't they? Well, here's a they're pretty close. Well, I, I don't know if they're any farther uh, closer than maybe a little bit closer than let the ones me, in yours. See that one right there. We'll check these. I think these are a little bit further apart. No, you're you're no Oh, well, they're pretty close. That doesn't drill them in this one, so it don't really matter. Yeah. I think I moved them over some on this one. You did. I did. Yeah, I moved them over a little bit on this one. Of course, this one's going to be a little bit wider. But, uh, and we could actually move them closer to this over here. But, you know, it's a little bit wider. That's probably about the same as this one. We're get, making a video at the same time, and I've been in front of that camera a few times, so I hope I didn't miss it. Up. Now this is this is the same as this one, and if you want to know how far the holes are on the regular one that we use, which could actually probably use a little bit more, really. The center is uh, right at eight inches, eight to here to here. Jeff said, "Big enough for your rods to fit would work." Yeah, I mean, you know, it ain't. Uh, yeah, I'm happy, kind of happy with the size of mine. I don't need one that's that's as long as his. If you have the real big <laughs> handles, you may want to. You may want them a little bit further apart. Oh, you mean the big handles the on holes. the reels? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a big handle. Well, it's not a big, big handle, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think this is plenty far apart. We'll test this one. We may actually take this one right here with us to the lake. And we'll test it with three rods. And see how it does. That's what we'll do. We're going to take one out on its maiden voyage. And what I'm doing here is I am, if you build one of these and you use this with some loads, that's that's real light wood. I mean, that is super light wood. If you get this wood from Lowe's, make sure this stuff here, you run pilot holes because you don't want to run them screws down in that bust your wood after you've done set there and done everything to it. Yeah. And the top, what I done on the top was I run three screws. I'm just eyeballing them. I know about where that two before is going to go, so. Now, 
That's just to start them and down through there to keep it from cracking your wood. Nobody likes cracked wood. <laughs> So if we use this video here, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to I'll just chop it up some for voice over it too. Yeah, that's okay. I mean you cut that one off as far as that don't let you want to see them, let them see you oh. make a video and let it do it all again, then you can take spots from each side. Don't mind me, okay. Okay, so we need two of these. There's these an hour are, and thirty minutes worth of footage here. <laughs> oh, is it? These yeah. are these are nine inches, if I'm not mistaken. Nine inches. If you turn it that way, it's six inches, but we'll go that way. It's nine inches. So we always want to go with the longer one anyway, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. I think I okay, I didn't do my holes the last time and I had to go backwards a little bit. More screws out here. We'll do it we'll do it twice that way if anybody missed anything. No, we weren't too dirty. I just got in front of the camera a few times and you know I don't care what I put on there. I mean within reason I do, but makes it all fun. Yeah. I mean it's a video, it's gonna be a video on YouTube. It's it's an hour and a half worth of footage so far. So uh if I don't edit it, it'll go on there like it is. <laughs> Listen, it's my opinion, yeah. There's no such thing as too dirty. Well, there is, but <laughs> if y'all haven't been tonight. That's the good thing about Cindy. She's always real, so. Yeah. We don't have to worry about the fake stuff. No, what you see is what you get pretty much. We just try to keep it calmed down until I go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be banned from YouTube. I'm just goofy. Okay. Pass the Doritos. You put these screws Cheetos in your in. mouth. Don't swallow them. <laughs> Are you doing a disclaimer for the Darwins? Hey, right, come back here. He said, who cares? It's just going to be us watching anyway. He's right. So it won't matter that I walked in front of the camera and blocked it and did all those stuff. No matter. We're just playing with some wood. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when that is so quick. <laughs> Oh, when we go fishing late tonight, mm -hmm. I'll just go ahead and pre-warn you guys that I've had about four hours sleep. Well, she won't go to sleep. So, I probably won't have a filter at all. <laughs> mm. But when I'm that tired, I may get up and walk around a lot too. I'd be like, Travis, watch chat. I got to walk. 
We know Jody's got her show tonight, so we'll probably start fishing about 11 o'clock, people. Uh, I'm going to wait till we're close to the end of it. 12 o'clock. It is thing will happen. We ain't waiting that long. Probably around 11, Jeff. But, uh, just to be honest with you, we're going to give it two hours, and uh, that's about it. That way, if people want to come into my live, they can finish up her show or whatever. We're going to go ahead and start fishing, though. We need to get some uh, regular video anyway. If we don't catch anything beforehand, we'll put some shorts out of it or something. Yeah. So we screw around before then. So. And I'm definitely stopping to get me some meat, but I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to. And there we go. Oh, yeah, I still got two more holes to drill, don't I? Hang that stuff to free bar. It's 8 30. We're still doing good on time. Yeah. Fairly good. Is there anything you just want to know about this as I'm doing it here? Any questions? Because I would rather, if you want to make one, I would rather know what you're trying to figure out or anything like that. That way I can show you right here. This is a... Uh, no, that was wild. I think this is a five eight inch uh, paddle bit. Yeah, it is five eight inch paddle bit. Yeah, for this rebarb, and I'm not sure the size of that rebarb, so it's a little bit smaller than tools needed. Five eight. Well, that just depends. Uh, Basic though, a drill and a saw. You could use a hand saw even. However, you'd need to get your boards cut. And uh, a drill. A drill. The two different size paddle bits, which is an inch and a half and a uh, did you say five eighths? And make sure you got you a little, little bit, just a little bitty bit, it's probably a 16. And then, maybe. Um, I don't even know if it's a 16. The bit comes with the screws typically, yeah, depends on what kind of screws you use. He uses, he's using like the star heads. Yeah, so like it's breaking a bit with it. I was all, I was gonna say Ray. That when I post the video I will post a uh in the description I'll put a tool list. And that is going in that about it's five inches. How do you know that's five inches? <laughs> I can eyeball good. <laughs> and that uh, piece of rebarb I'm cutting for these is like uh, 12 inches long. Actually, the ones in the car is probably a little bit longer. To be so, able to yeah, the uh, you'll need something. Go ahead. Uh, you'll need something to be able to. You can probably get your rebar cut at like Lowe's or whatever if you know what size, what length you. I don't know exactly how they do that, but uh, just a hacksaw. I'm using a hacksaw or a cutting wheel. Yeah, you can use a hacksaw 
and I just got that little saw. It's a plumber's uh, little hand saw. You could use that if you have to. I mean, I use the grinder to cut mine. Or if you got a little cutting wheel, anything. Starhead deck screws, Michelle said. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. And that's the size I'm using and everything. And it came with a little bit. I just lost it somewhere over here and had to get my other one. But yeah, deck screws. Jeff said it's probably sold as half inch rebar, but it's a bit more like nine sixteenths. Yeah. Well, we, we measure it here. Ray said, don't forget to add that to the info in the video. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, a four foot piece, I think it was four foot. I cut two foot off of it. Yeah. It was like four bucks. So. Oh, Jeff said they sell rebar in two foot lengths yeah. in most places. Yeah, and you can maybe even get it shorter than that. I think I've seen some over it was short. Yeah, that's about 24 inches there, so that's a four foot piece. Uh, I'll tell you another thing that'll probably cut this is a big set of bolt cutters. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I should have got mine out of the truck and I could just snip it into it. Um, Michelle said that would be good for outdoor weather, Jefferson Einstein. Yes. I mean, you can throw some paint on it. You can actually, you can actually even put uh, a piece of chipboard, whatever, kind of across the front of it. Put your name on it. Just whatever you want to do to it. You know, it's a, it's a base. This is just a basic. It's just for everybody that. And you don't have to have no wood. It's just whatever you got. It don't matter. Yeah, Travis threw his other stuff he had laying back here. And this makes the second year. No, yeah, this does makes the second year, doesn't second it? Second year we used that rod. Because he left it laying last winter. Travis threw his show it to him real good. It's uh it's definitely made out of rough, just rough just rough cuts I had laying around. But yeah. It's it's nothing special. And he gives nails actually. Yeah, I know. He, he threw it out on the ground this past winter when we when we weren't using it. Yeah. And I mean it's fine. The wood's weathered, but it, it's not twisted or anything. And that's definitely not the same kind of wood as this though. No. This is a little the bit heavier. Before might be, but if yeah, I'm not mistaken, that of cedar too. That uh wood right there, I planed that wood down. That, that actually might have been a piece of a two before and I run it to the planer and it was I just planed it down. I'm not sure. But I had it laying either in the building here or out there somewhere I grabbed it. And... Yeah, you don't want to use drywall screws for sure. <laughs> Michelle said cut rebar with hacksaw or other. You can cut it with a hacksaw. It just takes, it'd take quite a bit longer. He's got a cutting wheel. Well, it's a grinding. A grinding wheel on his grinder there. But um, bolt cutters, a good set of bolt cutters would probably snip it. Let's actually see how long it takes to cut this. We'll cut it. If you got a, if you got a decent hacksaw, I can cut it with this little one. I don't care. Let's see where it's in or Oh, we found it. Yeah. And that's if you can't get it in the links that you want it wherever you buy it. Yeah, I mean, you can, whatever. And it's a good possibility you can get it cut in whatever link, or it'll become pre cut. Yeah, Michelle said, yeah, grinder would be faster. Yeah, grinder is not fast. Yeah. <laughs> Makes the second time he's went to try to do that and been like, nope, grinder. <laughs> it just ain't worth it. Just, it's just it ain't worth the time. No.
Deb said that stuff's pretty hard to cut. Hey, weed hopper. How you doing, Brandon? Hard for you. Easy after you get so far. <laughs> and it's hot still. Yeah, it's a little weird. JP said the fish are jumping. <laughs> the fish are jumping. That's what he said. Where the heck? Where the heck? I don't know. That's two rod holders in less than two hours. Don't grab that rebar. No. What are you doing, Chevy? We're filling the babies. Yeah. Chevy, Chevy dog, what you doing? No, don't come in here. Yeah, you don't need to get up against that rebar. He's on the couch, he said. Chevy and Sierra. Chevy! Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Chevy, where'd I go? Where'd I go, Chevy? Go get him. Kill him. No, you're not coming in here. Go ahead out, go, bro. Out. Chevy's so smart. Go, go. What do you want? Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Out. Come on, little girl. Okay, people. Yep. We're going to go get something to eat. Mm. Get ready and head towards the lake. Don't run shopping for the frick. Wait, you can stay. I'm not ready. Chevy said, I mean, Brandon said, Chevy, LOL looks like a big block to me. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> a big block. I can't believe you can't find that other little bit. Oh, it'll show up here a little bit. Probably. It may be underneath it. Yeah, he's a big block. He weighs about a hundred and a quarter. He's not a small dog. He's he's good. Travis cooks for him. Yeah, him I'm gonna probably just leave this stuff laying here. Listen, you uh, I know he's got another two by another whole two by four, and two more of the flat boards. Ray said, "Where are we gonna eat?" Uh, that's a good question. Man, I tell you what, I want uh, <laughs> I want some of them barbecued uh, nachos from Calhoun's, but people don't get what they want. Ashley made me want. Ashley made me want the uh, chicken nachos, but we'll probably end up eating McDoubles from McDonald's, y'all. 
bunch of stink bugs up here. I can smell them bad. Smack Donald's. Smack Donald's. That's what it usually is. Smack Donald's. Brandon said he's wide body. Yeah, he's a big uh, black American pit. She's a little red nosed pit. Yeah, she's meaner than he is. Well, if somebody. Now, it depends. She's meaner than he is, but. He's. 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 Uh, if somebody him. comes up to the gate, as long as they, they're okay, well, he's still going to growl and bark at them. But if, if they go to shoot their hand over that fence, they might lose it. JP up. said a magnet on a stick will find your bit. Hey, that's a good idea. I did have some of those. But, um, JP, it's Calvin's on the river. That's where we're talking about the heads of nachos. <coughs> the barbecue nachos. No, not in Calhoun, Tennessee. Knoxville or Oak Ridge. And he said, oh, well, they're cheap. Yeah, he, he actually has another one. Yeah, it's just yeah. a little one that comes with that box. I actually got a whole box of them. Because I always lose them. <laughs> and the little ones that come in the box kind of suck because they're it that be. long. And you, know, you can buy a whole box of them at like track or five or yeah. Okay, I'm turning this other camera off. If I can. If you can. So what's everybody gonna do, Stephen? Anybody questions? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get some of these. No. JP said, Keto Cheeto said, I, I was fixing to say about Cal Yeah, does sound pretty good. <laughs> No, it's Friday though. Well, that's a good point. We'd have to order it to go, and then it's gonna be messy. But there you go, people. Oh, uh, if these. Oh, okay. We were uh, twenty-four inches. 24. So it's two foot on this top and bottom. Twenty-four. Eight. The rebarb is 12. The side pieces are 9. I don't know if there's going to be enough room for all this information in the description. So what we may do is write it out and put it at the very beginning and the very end of the video. Well, if I can. You can put that one back on and I can just go over it real quick. I don't know why the Google Assistant keeps coming up. I must have something fresh. Okay. 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 Am I in view and everything? Let's get the video. Right, she's going to step over everything now. I don't need to that quick. It's going to speak quick. Okay. Are you in there? Now. Okay, we got a three rod, bank rod holder. It's an inch and a half paddle bit for the holes for the top and the bottom. The best way is to lay these two boards together, drill your holes. An inch and a half. Reel your pilot holes for your screws on both sides while you put your boards together. These are 24 inches. 
The top and bottom is 24 inches. In between your holes is this one started at four, 12, and right at 20. What I did was center at 12, put this one at four inches, and this one at four inches from the end. And the sides are nine inches. The two before on the sides. I put three screws in the top, which is basically an inch and five eighths. No more. You can use whatever you want. These are star bit heads. Dexter screws. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's a star bit. Anyway, five eighths inch hole. Five inches deep with a paddle bit. That's for your rebar. Here's your rebar. You want to drive your rebar in the ground, about one in the ground. Put your rebar up in there. That's probably half inch rebar, as somebody said. And then you can actually judge your other side, putting your rebar in the ground. Just like that right there. Then just move this to the side. Take it off, whatever. You got one. Drive it in the ground. And then pull it pull it off and just slide it back down on them. Of course, this will be in the ground up to here, however much you want it in the ground. Make sure this is in the ground enough if you're going to keep your rods locked down. Because if you don't drive it in the ground good, it's just going to flip over and... If you get a big fish on there, probably drag your rod holder and rods and all will pile in. But and how long are you your rebar watch, pieces? If you that is twelve inches of rebar. So five will go in here, and you got seven inches down here. You want at least five of the inches down here. I I would go all the way. I would go six inches anyway in the ground. And we're giving a dip. Are you done? And that's about it. We're giving a real yeah, so don't be really, intimidated. Yeah, Put one of these things just, yourself. You can draw it together and you can have fun with it. You don't have to have no wood. It's a simple no DIY project and you can use it and you don't there need to you go, you're going in the back of your the Nothing against the expensive rod holders. I mean, if you want to spend your money and buy them and don't want to have to do nothing, go for it. I would probably use them if I had them, but I might want to spend the money. You know? Me either. I work too hard. I like my rods standing straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see her bend over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thing is, and it's a little bit more exciting if it stands straight up. So, <laughs> are you going to take both them with you, or you want to take this one, or what? I think it shut down. It shut down. Yeah. Okay, we'll jump back on our Okay. Uh, Brandon said, uh, Jism, Travis. Jism. Eugene How said, Great you? DIY. Thank you, Cindy and Travis. Yeah, you're very welcome. I'm cutting your head off. Yeah, you always cut your head off. There you go. Now you're not cutting my head off. Okay. Have fun, right. people, and we will be back at 11 o'clock. Okay. Yep, we're going to be fishing at 11. We're going to go get something to eat. Go mess around this lake a little bit, maybe fish a little bit before 11. We're going to come back on at 11 o'clock live action. Okay. And we'll and fish. We ain't going to fish real, real late, but we, who knows? We might. You never know. All right. We're going to hop off here. Jody's show starts at nine. If you want to watch, I don't know who else she's got on panel tonight, but if you want to want to watch some fishing, tune in to Pontoon Jody. We got about two hours to get some late and get something late. Okay. 11 o'clock. See you later. Or see you later. <laughs> later. Get on. Get on.
Okay.